G'day mates and welcome to the Calculus Safari. Today we'll be looking for some wild and exotic creatures. Let's have a go at it, shall we? Oh, by the way, that, that right there is my hunting cat, Mufasa. No, no. Come on, man, no. just let me lick your face. No. It's a sign we, of We affection. talked about this, it's not in your contract. But it's better than the whole bug. It's not in your contract. Now remember kids, these are all very wild and dangerous creatures, so don't go trying this at home. Oh my god, oh no, what's that? I believe that's the wild parametric monster. Be careful, we have not been spotted. Oh, it's spotted us! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh she's a fast one! You know what I mean? Now for parametric equations, we have to find the derivative of y with respect to t and take that over the derivative of x with respect to t. Let's do this. Also don't forget that the derivative of sine is cosine and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And we also need to remember the chain rule. Therefore giving dy dx equaling negative 3 sine of 6t over 2 cosine of 4t. I told you I had your back, man. Thank you. All right, mates, let's get back on the safari. Oh, it's a monkey! Monkey! monkey. No, 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 no! That's a wild derivative in its natural habitat. You be careful because when startled, they can display a wide array of defense and mechanisms. But I like monkeys. <laughs> The only way to defeat it is to solve as many complicated problems. Let's see. First, we have the power rule. Take the exponent from the x and put it in the front. Then subtract 1 from the exponent. So therefore the answer is 3x squared. Next up, we have the chain rule. Take the derivative of the outside and multiply it by the derivative of the inside. Therefore, the derivative is 12 times 6x minus 1. Don't forget about the product or quotient rule either. The product rule consists of taking the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second and adding it to the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first. I gotta do it in the order he said. <laughs> is this entertaining you? The quotient rule consists of taking the function that's in the denominator, multiplied by the derivative of the function in the numerator, and subtracting that by the function, the derivative of the function in the denominator, all divided by the entire function in the denominator squared. Yeah, I mean, oh, this is a kid show. Take that, Mr. Monkey. Finally, what we've all been waiting for, the king of the Serengeti. This is the climax of our journey. Wait, aren't mammoths extinct? Shut up, kid. Wait, who let the kid on this uh, Serengeti? Clearly, that's a flying mammoth. Idiot. Yeah, I have wanted the head of that bodacious series mammoth on my wall for quite some time. 
I have a spot for him on my night net nigit night stand since 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 like part of a no sense. I am a lonely loser. Why do you think I have a cat parentheses with add to, to Oh okay uh, why do you think I have a cat? That's me. series problem. Yeah, that's definitely a harmonic P series, but we didn't do very well on that section, so... Kids, that's all we have time for today. We'll see you on the next Calculus Safari. Who the hell thought it was a good idea to put a P series on the show? Like, seriously, who's supposed to solve that? <laughs>